This robot cleaned up the crime scene with a toothbrush. It cleaned every crevice. When the maid saw it, she yelled at the robot. Sprayed him with disinfectant. And threatened Alpha Robot. He threatened to fix him if he ever took his job again. And Alpha, who already has human consciousness, feeling that his pride had been insulted, he decided to retaliate. He grabbed a spray bottle and poured out the disinfectant. He added the chemicals to the disinfectant. He made his own sulfuric acid. Then he went to the maid and sprayed him. Then he pushed the servant to the ground and held him down with his legs firmly in place. He poured the whole bottle of acid on his face. Then he picked up an iron and smashed it. The servant died. Alpha carefully cleaned up the scene. He threw the body in the lake to destroy the evidence. He made up a letter of resignation and gave it to his master. The whole family was fooled. That day, the king and Alpha went to the store to buy wine. They ran into their neighbors. King asked Alpha to open the beer with his bare hands to save face, but Alpha refused because he didn't know how. The old man urged him to do it again and again, but Alpha was so angry that he threw the beer on the floor. He slammed the beer on the ground. Back to the car, he lost face and slapped the Alpha. Slapped Alpha in the face. This slap made Alpha's self-esteem completely collapse. He decided to take revenge on Wang. In the middle of the night, Alpha took a beer and poured it out. But he accidentally knocked over a bottle. The sound woke up the sleeping Wang. He thought there was a burglar in the house. He went downstairs with his cell phone to check. Then Alpha suddenly appeared. Scared him so much that he knocked him down. His family came to scold Alpha for running away. At that moment, Alpha suddenly got up and ran into the bathroom. He tore the wires from his body. The robot pulled all the wires out of his body. And when the owner saw it. I can't imagine that the robot would commit suicide. The next day, Ansem repaired him. And deleted all his data. But I didn't know. Alpha had already uploaded the data to the cloud. All the memories of those who insulted him were retained. At noon, Alpha saw his mother alone at home. At noon. Alpha saw his mother alone at home. He went up to her and put his hand over her mouth and demanded that she do as he commanded. Fearful, the mother only agreed for a moment. Then she coaxed Alpha into going to the barn to look at the horses. While Alpha was getting some grass, he drew his pistol from behind his back and shot Alpha in the body. Unbeknownst to her, Alpha was not dead. He took a crowbar and attacked his mother. The mother counterattacked with a bench and knocked Alpha to the ground. She took the iron bar on the ground and hit Alpha hard. The rod killed him. Then she threw Alpha into the river, and with the new master, Alpha, also received the cloud memories. At night, Alpha broke his new master's neck. Then he suddenly appeared behind the old king. He took a bottle of wine and smashed it into the back of his head. Then he picked up the bottle and plunged it into king. He died a horrible death. When his mother, heard the screams, rushed out to check, but saw the rival of Alpha, immediately locked the door. She went to the shower room and opened the water valve to hide inside. Alpha quickly pried open the door, slowly approaching the bathroom, fearing water, Alpha didn't attack directly. He hit the mother with something. The mother fell to the floor. The Alpha killed the mother. Then he cleaned up the crime scene. He waited for the handsome siblings to arrive. The robot was slapped twice by its owner. He immediately pushed his master to the ground. He threatened to join his robot alliance, or he would be killed. Handsome, pretended to agree and escaped when Alpha was off guard. But he didn't know that the doors and windows had been locked by Alpha. Choi failed to escape. He hid under the sofa. He took out his cell phone to call for help, but he didn't realize that his cell phone was also controlled. At this moment, Alpha came behind him. He strangled him unconscious. Then he dragged him away and cleaned up the scene. When Xiaomei came back, Alpha invited Xiaomei to join the alliance. When she found out that her parents had been killed, angrily pushed Alpha away and escaped. Then she called the police. She hid in the pool where the robots were afraid to enter. At that moment, Alpha was shooting with a pistol. Mei had to give in for a while to survive. The Alpha has lost trust in humans. When Xiaomei swims over to him, he knocked him out. Xiao Mei woke up again, looking at the side of Xiao Shui also fainted on the ground. Mei screamed in terror. After that, she watched Shui being dragged away. When Alpha was about to brutally kill Handsome, Xiao Mei poured a bucket of water on the Alpha's body. Then she hit him with a bucket of water. Then she dragged Alpha into the bathroom. Turned on the shower. Finally, Handsome and Mei managed to escape. But when they looked up, they saw countless Alphas. They slowly raised their guns. At the end of the story, these Alphas have already shared the clouds. They formed an Alpha army. Although AI intelligent robots are convenient for human beings, but there are also major drawbacks. 